Hey everyone, Sean Frangella here for MotionTutorials.net with a new Element 3D tutorial about how to create this bendy 3D text animation in just a couple minutes. This episode is brought to you by Artbeats Express. Create a free account at Artbeats Express stock media by subscription and receive complimentary broadcast quality resolution content files. No credit card payments or obligations are required. Click the link for more details. So here we have this fun little text animation created all inside of After Effects using Element 3D, the video copilot plugin, and some new features for version two to create the band animation. So let's get to talking about how to create this and then we'll talk about animating it and then adding the lighting and rendering effects really quickly for this sort of animation. So I'm just gonna create a new composition. It could be whatever settings you want as far as size. And then I'm gonna create a new solid with layer new solid or command Y, call this E3D. And then in my effects and presets, I'm gonna go to element and I'll drag that on. And what we're gonna do to get the text is create a custom layer, which we can call up right here on the effect under custom layers, custom text and mask. So to create extruded text in element 3D, all we gotta do is get our text tool Type in some text, I'll type in bendy. You can type in whatever you want and I can hold command to actually snap it to the center if I want. I'll put that at the bottom and I'll turn it off because we just need it as a reference. And then on my E3D layer, under that custom text and mask, I'm gonna go to paths, path layer one and change it to that word bendy. It's not gonna do anything right away because we need to go into scene setup and here we have where we'll create all of our assets. And all we gotta do to extrude that first path, number one is click extrude, bam, we got some text, that's awesome. And from there we could change the materials, extrude it more, do all sorts of stuff. But to get some quick looks on this, I'm gonna go to bevels. And these are some bevels that come in one of the packs under bevels and materials. And I'm just gonna grab this blue one, drag it onto this first bevel material, and it's actually gonna replace them all. And you can see it now we have multiple layers of text and if i want i can grab any of them like this shiny black one extrude it more and then grab the other ones and change the z offset if they need to punch out of the front i could do the same thing with the blue one maybe and expand the edges a little more and what's nice about these is you can get a quick start and then customize it as you want and if we change this from shaded to wireframe we can see our wireframe mesh and that's what's actually going to be used to do our bending. Now let's go back to shaded and go to okay. And there we have our 3D text. We could create a new camera with layer new camera or, or a command alt shift C. And I can press the C keys and in a pan around. And there we have our 3D text. Well, in element 3D version two, what we can do now is go to our group setting. So this is automatically under group one. And I'll go to particle look. And now there's this new deform section. And what we can do with that is open any of these up. So we could open up bend, check on enable. It's gonna give us our axis and we can bend it and check that out. That's pretty cool right off the bat. You can see it's kind of bending and these are fully animatable too. So we could bend it like that. If we change our bend axis, that doesn't look right. And if we change our bend direction, you can see it's actually rolling the bend around. So it looks like the edges are bending. And if we get this at 90 degrees, it'll actually, bend straight forward and backwards. So if we change our bend angle, it's gonna bend the edges. And what it's doing is automatically centering that. If we wanted to change that origin, we could actually offset it X and Y. And you can see it, you could kind of bend it from just the beginning of the text or a different point. And I'll just zero that out. Now again, what's cool about this is that we can animate it. So if we have this starting off pulled pretty far back, we could go ahead in time, turn on that stopwatch for bend angle, press U to show keyframes, and then go ahead a couple frames and we'll snap it to the front. Go ahead 10 more frames and we could just copy paste this keyframe so it kind of bounces out. And then we'll go ahead 20 and have it bend back towards the front. And then we'll go ahead one second by doing shift page down three times. And we'll do zero and that way it'll anticipate and kind of wobble back into place. Now this is way too jumpy. So what we want to do is select all these, go to keyframe assistant, easy ease. That's going to help us a bit with smoothing out our animation. And we could take it even further by selecting all them and just pulling some of these curves for our motion curves to where it's really snapping that animation 
and anticipating and following through a bit. And if you want to adjust it, you can zoom in or out just like you can on the timeline. And now this is under edit speed graph. If you want to do edit value graph, you could see this one. It's similar, but might work a little better for our uses to kind of build out this snapping anticipation type thing. So here we have some cool animation on that. We could even just pan our camera around a bit by turning on position and point of interest keyframes, just have it moving around. You could do that, you don't have to, but it's a nice little extra effect. Now, what I wanna do is add some nice lighting and rendering touches to this, because if we look at our final one, we can see we're seeing some ambient occlusion shadows and some really cool reflections moving around on our text. So what I'm gonna do on my Element 3D layer is go back in our scene setup, and if we turn on environment, we can see it's just this default environment, and that's Shiny material is actually pretty reflective, but we're just seeing kind of this black background. What I'm going to do is change that environment. I can do that by going to environment. And for the environment, I'm going to use one of these 360 maps from my 360 environment map pro sets. These are some really unique environment maps for Element 3D and Cinema 4D. And if we open up this Vegas city option, I have 2K, 4K, and 8K maps of all these different all right, so this is one shot all over Las Vegas, so it can be really cool for all sorts of different things and glowy reflections in your materials. That's pretty cool stuff. I really like these neon sign ones. You can kind of see those are some nice bright pinks and greens in the colors, and we'll see some really cool reflections bouncing off from that. And on my materials, I can go to other materials like this front white one and turn up the reflectivity so we see a little bit of that. And then I'll go to OK and check that out. Look at how that very quickly totally changes what our scene looks like by adjusting our environment map to change our reflections. Now, if you want to check out 360 Environment Maps Pro for Element 3D, you can find that on my site at motiontutorials.net slash store. I have individual packs for super cheap, and you can also get bundles of multiple packs with bonus maps for use in your Element 3D projects. To do this sort of effect, there's tons of maps. You can get this bundle with all of them in the Ultra Bundle, which comes with 115 maps in 2K, 4K, and 8K for your projects. So then when you jump into scene setup in Element 3D, you can utilize all these really cool environments and really change the lighting and rendering of your scene and let 360 Environment Maps Pro take care of those details so you can focus on the fun stuff like extruding text and doing the animation. Then I'll go to OK, and now we have another totally new look. And if we RAM preview this, we can see that's working really nicely. Now, if we wanna put some final touches on this to really bump up the rendering and quality, we can go to render settings, and on each of these top ones, we can make some adjustments. So under lighting, I can actually add lighting. Even though I don't have lights in my After Effects project, I can use these built-in ones, and they will kind of tweak the default lights a bit. I go to shadows, and I can enable shadows. By default, it's gonna be a shadow mapping. If I turn on ray traced, it's gonna render slower, but give me a lot better quality. And I can go to ambient occlusion, enable that, and same idea, if it's on SSAO, it's gonna be faster and okay quality. If I go to ray trace, it's gonna take a little longer, but look how much better that looks. And then for a final render, I could go to output and I could turn up super sampling a bit. And what that's gonna help with is these edges that might have a bit of anti-aliasing like you can see here on the top of this black. If I zoom in, you can really see that. So there's a bit of anti-aliasing. If we turn that up just a bit, you can see how it smooths that out. And for making my animation look nice, I can turn on motion blur for my layer and my project. And when these letters are moving and animating, we're gonna get some nice blurriness from how fast it's snapping and moving. And then if I do a quick RAM preview with this and check that out, we got some really fun animation and we built it out pretty quickly using this custom text layer. And the fun part of this is that new tab under Element 3D version two, it's this deform tab where we can bend stuff, we can twist our geometry. Look at that looks pretty crazy if we do that. We can enable these on and off and do some fun stuff with this new tab. And then very quickly use Environment Maps Pro to totally change and adjust the look of this 
seen and reflections. So I hope you learned a lot from this one. It's a fun one to put together. I always like touching on it new and different uses for Element 3D. And if you wanna pick up these assets for the lighting and rendering, be sure to check out motiontutorials.net where I got all different packs of these. And you can check out all the other free tutorials and Element 3D content on the full site at motiontutorials.net where you can learn a ton about After Effects, Element 3D, new features for all sorts of motion graphics and 3D software. And if you like this tutorial and want to hit me up on social media, the Facebook page is facebook.com slash motion tutorials. And you can hit me up on Twitter. I'm at Sean Frangella. If you have any questions or requests for tutorials. And if you want to get a hold of these project files or any of the project files used in any of my free tutorial projects, you can check those out by becoming a Patreon subscriber at patreon.com slash Sean Frangella, where you can throw in a couple bucks to support the show, maybe you don't want to buy products, but you like watching these tutorials and you want just the assets used in these specific tutorials, you can become a follower on Patreon and help the show that way. And if you want to learn more about Element 3D, be sure to check out some of my other Element 3D tutorials. If I click at any of those thumbnails, I go into a lot of stuff with the new version 2, as well as a lot of motion graphics and 3D compositing features. As always, thanks for watching. I will see you at the next video.